If you guys have ever played Pokemon Sword and Shield on the competitive ladder, you guys know Landorus was top tier in the meta. But now with Regulation D coming out in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, we are seeing this Pokemon return. And I'm telling you guys, this Pokemon is back and it's definitely going to be part of the meta. It has a great typing, great moveset, great stats, and a top tier ability with Intimidate. So in today's video, I'm bringing you guys a Life Orb Landorus team for Regulation D. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, come on, yo, you're really missing out. Click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my Regulation D content. But the first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Tornadus. And I'm already kind of getting annoyed by saying Tornadus is on the team. Because I'm telling you guys, it's going to be on probably 90% of all Regulation D teams. Because this Pokemon is the best support Pokemon in the game at the moment. It has Prankster, it has Covert Cloak as its item, Rock and Tailwind, Bleak Wind Storm, Protect, and Icy Wind. We got Fluttermane in our second slot, and I really like this Fluttermane build for this Regulation D team. In Regulation D, you're going to see a lot of Trick Room, uh, most likely probably Ursa Luna Trick Room team, so having a Fluttermane like this could be very, very valuable. It has Protosynthesis and the Focus Sash, it has Imprison and Trick Room, and then Shadow Ball and Dazzling Gleam. Golden Go is going to be in our third slot, and Golden Go is going to just be a great Pokemon for back end or for front end support. He has good as gold and a choice spec as his item, Rock and Thunderbolt, Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, and Trick. If we're going up against a team that kind of struggles with speed, we can go Tornadus and Golden Go, just Tailwind, and then Make It Rain and do some crazy big damage. In our fourth slot, we got ourselves the Single Strike Urshifu, Dark and Fighting type with the Unseen Fist and the Choice Band as its item. Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch, and U-Turn, probably the best moveset for a Choice Band Urshifu. Bottom left hand corner, our fifth Pokemon is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Life Orb Landorus. Great typing with the flying and ground. It has Intimidate, which is one of the best abilities in competitive doubles. And then its moveset consists of Stop and Catch from Earthquake, Rock Slide, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Iron Bundle with Quirk Drive and the Booster Energy to make it as fast as possible. It has Icy Wind for Speed Control, Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, and Protect. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder, look to grab some wins, and showcase Life Orb Landers. Loading into our first match for today's video. Before we get started here, if you guys have regulation D teams for me, leave them in the comment section down below or DM me over on Twitter. I'm looking for Charizard teams, looking for Hisuian starter teams. I think I showcased two Hisuian starters. Yeah, Typhlosion and Samurott. So I'm looking for Decidueye and pretty much all other regulation D Pokemon teams. Looking to showcase them on the YouTube channel. So if you guys do have them, like I said, get them to me in the comment section down below. But we're going up against a pretty... Decent team, right? They got Torkoal for Sun and Logant, which could potentially be the lead, right? Logant and Torkoal could definitely be the lead. I feel as Tornadus has to be our lead. And we might want to lead it with a fast Pokemon such as Landorus, right? Landorus is not too bad here. I actually really, really like it. So I'm going to lead both of them. They might lead Logant and Torkoal, but at that point, I can just Tailwind. I can really get after the match that way and kind of go from there. But uh, they also have Great Tusk, Dragonite, King Gambit, and Fluttermane. So for that instance, I definitely want Urshifu. And then last slot, do I go Fluttermane or do I go Deadly Deadly? I feel like Fluttermane could be solid because it's going to be super effective onto the Dragonite and the Great Tusk. But at the same time, it can really get dumped on by King Gambit. But I like my I like my focus sash on that, so I'm definitely gonna go Fluttermane here. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look. Let's look to get things started here with a big fat W. Something I did not mention in the team preview is, I think I did mention. I don't know if I did. If you guys want to support me extra, become a member. Click in the join button, or there is a link down in the description below. Um, I think uh, we have a new member. I kind of gotta look it up because I want to give him a shout out. Give me one second. I want to give him a, this member a shout out. I want to give this member a shout out. Let me let me let me, let me find his name. Let me find his name. I got it right here. Pulling it up. One second. My man, Brandon Stromberg. Thank you so much for becoming a Jeans member. Huge shout out to you, man. Hopefully you enjoy all the channel perks. But like I said, it's not mandatory, but it's greatly appreciated. Join button should be down below. If you do not see the join button, there's a link in the description below. But they're going to end up leading. Who is that? Can't even see. To Tusk and Gambo. And Intimidate works wonders here. But this thing could be defined. Was it defined? It was. It was defined, but from here I feel as it should be just be a simple play of an icy wind. Because you should be fast. Actually, we'll go tailwind just in case he's choice. And then I can just go into a swift EQ here. I like it. I like the swift EQ with the life orb, the tailwind, stab boost. I like Lando here. Great Tusk is minus one too, which is good. But 
Gambo is plus one. So we got to kind of get rid of Gambo. There's no terror comes out here. So we're going to be able to tailwind and EQ freely. Hopefully this can just KO the King Gambit. We can roll from there. Oh, it does not. But still big time damage onto that Pokemon. Big time damage. Rock Slide's going to fly. That's looking a little tough. We're able to soak really, really well. And a Kowtow Cleave. So cool. We're good. My Lando's surviving these shots. So Lando's able to survive the shots. Um, from here, Landorus is going to die. It is going to die to... When it uses EQ. It's going to die to the Slight Form. So I'm just going to send it again. Let him go down and potentially just pick up some big time damage. But I forgot about the Sucker Punch. Maybe I should just protect it. But I think we're thriving here. I think it's a solid start for us. So Landorus gets things started. Doing some big time damage onto... Uh, Onto King Gambit and onto the Great Tusk, intimidating them at the same time and allowing us just to pick up a double KO. So, Landers get things started here hot. Tornadus comes in the back end, cleans up the mess, and we're thriving here. This match should be pretty easy. I've been killing it on the casual ladder. Absolutely ripping. But from here, Urshifu could come out here, but I feel as we should save him and just go into a Pokemon more so like Fluttermane. So, we're going to bring out our Fluttermane. We're going to say, come on, man, this is too easy, and we're going to win this match. Let's see what he brings out. Is that Dragonite? It is Dragonite, so Fluttermane's here. Flutter Fluttermane is here, and they also have a Flutter Fluttermane. So we have speed all day unless they go into an E-Speed, and that would be the only reason I would not want to go into a... Uh... That would be the only reason I wouldn't want to go into a Terrasalization, because I kind of want a Terra Fairy, but I don't want to deal with E-Speed, right? I do not want to deal with E-Speed, so I'm just going to dash and Gleam across the board. We'll see what they want to do. They do not Terra. Wow. So we're able just to just do that much damage. Take off multi-scale. And we get a crit onto their Fluttermane. Icy Wind now flies. This could potentially take out Dragonite. Almost. Big time damage for Icy Wind. But more importantly, we get a speed drop. So we have speed for the rest of the match. We're chilling here. And the Shadow Ball is going to fly. And I'm going to Focus Sash up. So I'm Sashing up here. Focus Sash coming in clutch. So from here, Dragonite can't E-Speed me. So if, we, so if Dragonite does not go after Fluttermane, we should be fine. And it doesn't. Cool. And we're able to soak. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now I can just Bleak Wind Storm. I can go into a Dazzling Gleam. ESP can't hit me. Unless he has Aqua Jet. Some Dragonites roll with Aqua Jet. I'm not going to lie. So that could be a little bit of a problem, but I highly doubt that, right? A low percentage of Dragonites roll out with Aqua Jet. A low percentage. Cool. He just E speeds that. Dazzling Gleam is going to be able to pick up both the KOs, and that is going to be late. We didn't even have to use our choice band Urshfu. And match number one is going to your boy. Dazzling Gleam comes out here. Bang, bang. See you later. Come on, man. That's too easy. Hot start for your boy. We're sitting 1 0. Hopefully, we're going up against a regulation D team here in match number two. Let's see. And we are. Really, really cool team. They got Pelipper. They got Gyarados. They also have Rillaboom, Urshfu, Regilecki, who is a problem. That Pokemon is ridiculously strong. And then last but not least, they are rocking out with Dragonite. So I think Lando and Tornaz is going to be another great lead for us. I really do like them all around. I do have Rock Slide that can uh that would be super effective onto the, the Gyarados and onto the Pelipper and onto the uh, Dragonite. And then we also have ground moves that will be super effective onto Regilecki. We're just kind of hoping they don't go terrain with the uh with the Rillaboom turn one because then that'll half the damage of my ground moves, which could be a problem. Could definitely be a problem. So I'm still going to lead both Tornadus and Landers. And in the back end, I feel like Urshfu is going to be great. And probably Fluttermane again, right? Yeah, it just seems the best. Actually, Delibird could be really solid for us here as well. I really like Delibird with Freeze Dry. You know what? We're going to go Delibird. Plus, its speed is so massive. It'll be super effective onto four of those Pokemon. Actually, four times super effective onto three of those Pokemon with Freeze Dry. Pelipper, Gyarados, and Dragonite. That is just ridiculously big. And then we have Rillaboom on top of that. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So I'm hoping we get to showcase uh, Landers a bit more. I wish it would have been able to pick up the KO onto that uh, King Gambit in match number one, but it's all good. It got some work done. But Gyarados and Pelipper come out here. This is just a easy turn for me to just Tailwind, take speed, and then go into a... Oh, I forgot to have Intimidate. I still feel as we Terrestrialize. Even if our attacks drop, I think we're fine with a Terra Rock. Yeah, I think Terra Rock is just going to shred. It's just going to shred, right? Terra Rock, Rock Slide into that, and then just uh, Tailwind up. I like. I could actually Icy Wind, because you should be faster than everybody, right? You, you should be pretty fast. Where's your speed? Where's your speed at? 139. Actually, you're not that fast. You're not as fast as I thought you were. So yeah, Tailwind's going to have to be your play. I'm going to Tailwind. I'm going to Terrasalize, and I'm just going to throw Rock Slides out. 
I'm doing it. I'm getting after it. I know I'm minus one. It's all good. It is all good. It is all good. I think we should be fine there. Rock Slide's probably not going to KO, but still. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised to see it if it does KO. Should do some big time damage. The Tailwind flies out here from us. And we're looking to just get off as much damage as we can with this Rock Slide. So Rock Slide is now flying. I wish we weren't minus one. Let's see how much damage we can do. That's some damage. Lando getting after it. We like that. So it's probably going to go down here to like a Waterfall or a Hydro Pump. But he's just going to Thunder Wave me. I'm kind of hoping he goes for a Tailwind because then we would be faster. Let's see what he goes for. Hydro Pump. Yeah, I'm dead. See you later, Lando. You were gone. That's fine. That's fine. Lando got some work done. They get a crit. I was dead to that regardless. The crit did not matter. But I like that. I really like where we're sitting out. Now I can bring out uh, Deli Bird if I want to. I can bring out Urshifu if I want to. And I think we're really thriving here. The real question is, do we think Icy Wind can KO? Probably, right? Hmm. I mean, I just straight up Icy Wind and then go into a Bleak Wind Storm. We'll be fine. My, my, uh... Tornada should still be able to outspeed. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to look to pick up the double KO and just get thriving from there. So Lando gets to start off hot here with some big damage again. So that's pretty much what it's been doing in the first two matches. It's just been intimidating. And then on top of that, just going into a uh, big time damage. But Icy Wind's able to pick up the KO on both these guys. I wish I had a Pokemon with like a stat boost. Or stat boost move because I would have sent it there. But nice. Deli Deli Bird picks up the double KO. Now it turns into, into a 3v2. And I was paralyzed regardless. So thank God Icy Wind was able to KO. <laughs> that works out really, really well for us. Let's see who's in the back end. Could be Robin, potentially. Regilecki, problem. It's definitely a problem. That's a problem. He's got to go. And Urshfu, another problem. Another problem. There are two problems. There are two problems. And I feel as we should focus in on... I mean, I could freeze dry you down. But the problem would be Regilecki. I'm going to go for a Hydra Pump just to rip in the Regilecki. That's my plan. And I'm just going to go for... Let's see if we can get off Leak Wind Storm. Actually, Icy Wind might be a little bit better. Actually, mm, Bleak Wind Storm. Yeah, I'm all about Bleak Wind Storm. So let's see what they end up doing. He's going to end up Terrastalizing. That's fine. Maybe I should Terrastalize my Belly Bird. But let's see what he goes into. He can Terrastalize the Earth Street, which is fine by me. I'm going to go into Straight Fighting. He's looking to just KO me. He might be protecting Regilecki, which would be that be that be a problem. No, he does not. So we're able to hydro pump. If this thing's not Sash, it's dead. Cool. It's not Sash. That just won us the match. And yo, we are killing it on the casual ladder. And it's cool that we were going up against a regulation D team. So he terrors. He goes for the close combat. That's gonna take out Deli Bird all day. But I got a bleak wind storm coming in here, which somebody let me know in the comment section down below that it is 100% in the rain. So this is not missing. It's not missing. Plus, on top of that. His special defense is now dropped. So Bleak Windstorm comes out here. Urshfu, get on out of here. Get on out of here. Another solid match from us. Doing some big time damage with Landorus. And not even using our back end Urshfu, which is crazy. Let's go hop to our third and final battle. Grab ourselves a perfect record. And more importantly, use Landorus a little bit more. Loading into our third and final match. Looking to go up against another Regulation D team. Because we just ripped it in that last battle. But let's see what we're going up against. Looking for that perfect record. And we're facing up against... Ooh. Uh, ooh, kind of weird, right? Kind of weird, but kind of strong at the same time. They got Zapdos. They got a Trick Roomish team with, what is that, Galarian Slowbro? That's Galarian Slowbro. And then they also have Alolan Persian and Frostlass and Anger Point Tauros. So this is like a gimmicky yet strong team, and I really don't want to take it too lightly. Landorus, I'm going to lead you right off the rip. I really do like Intimidate on you. And then on top of that, I mean, Tornadus is just too good not to lead, right? I just feel like Tornadus got to be your play. And then Urshfu in the back end. And then I kind of want to have some fun with this one. Throwing out Choice Spec Golden Go. Yeah, let's have some fun with it. Instead of using Delibird or Fluttermane, even though they would be so good up against our opponent. I'm rocking out with these Pokemon. But why does Landorus' sprite look so tiny? You guys see this? Look, look at him. He looks smaller than Delibird. His sprite is so tiny. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Make him bigger. Sign a petition. Let's get on top of that. But, yo, we're 2-0. Oh. We've been absolutely crushing it on the casual ladder. Casual ladder, I mean, you go up against uh, people who aren't as good at, on rank. So, that's why you guys are seeing me just absolutely just steamroll through people on the casual ladder. And I think we haven't lost on recording. 
I lost all screen on the casual ladder, but never when I was recording, because the first three battles I do on recording are the first three battles I showcase for you guys on the channel. They end up leading Lycanroc and Persian, so Intimidate is going to be great for us. Um, I feel like EQ is just free, right? Might as well send the EQs. Let's get them rolling. So I'm just going to EQ across the board, and I might just Icy win here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Icy win for Speed Control. And what is your speed, Lando? Kind of curious to see. 120. I know that Persian does have Fake Out, but I'm still just going to Icy win. Because this is a solid play. And there's the Fake Out coming into... Man, I was hoping it was going into Tornadas. And Rock and Side is going to come out here from Lycanroc. But one of my Pokemon dodged it, and it is going to be my Tornadas, which is Fake Out. Now Icy Wind flies. We get a little bit of speed control here. And... Hmm. I think I just set up a Tailwind. Do I set up a Tailwind here? Actually, I could just set up a Tailwind next turn. I think setting up Tailwind next turn is going to be play. I think we EQ, EQ will KO the Lycanroc, deal some damage to the Persian, and then we just go into like a Bleak Wind Storm to try to pick up the, the rest of the damage on the Persian. So that's going to be my play. Lando coming out here. Look how sick he looks. He looks so dope. Who goes for a Cell Rock? I forgot they have that for first turn priority, but it's all good. We're able to eat up pretty well. Bleak Wind Storm is going to come out here, pick up some nice damage on the Persian. And now we about to rip it here. Now we about to rip it. Lando dropping a big time EQ. Does not affect the Tornadus. Double kill. All day, baby. Come on, man. Come on, man. Don't try these gimmicky teams from up against me. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. So if I had to guess Pokemon in the back end, definitely Zapdos one of them. And then, huh, maybe Slowbro? Let's see. There's Zapdos. Out comes Zapdos, and it is Slowbro. Look, look at the big brains from Jeans. Big brains from Jeans. Galarian Slowbro comes out here. Um, I could EQ. I could EQ to get rid of Slowbro. Or I could Rock Slide. And I'm leaning towards Rock Slide because the bigger threat is going to be Zapdos. So I'm going to Thrasilize. I'm going to go for Rock Slide. And I'm just going to set up a Tailwind just so Lando is guaranteed out speed. Are you Quick Law? Nah, yo. Don't do me like that. Yo. Yo. I'm Thrasilizing, and this thing's Quick Claw. He's going to KO me. This is about to be wild. So he ends up terrestrializing the bird into straight electric. Wow, I could have dropped an EQ. I could have just won this match with EQ. I could have just won this match with EQ. Yo, Slowbro is about to outspeed me. Watch, he's going to hit me with a water move or something. I'm going to die. I'm going to be so upset. It's going to ruin everything. But right now, there's Zapdos is faster than my landers until we pop this tail in, which I'm doing right now. And that's just such a shame, man. Could be pop a trick room. That is a potential thing. But Talon comes out here. He's quick clone, so he should go next, right? Yeah, you do. Yo, don't KO me. Leave me alone. Okay, cool. We're able to soak. <laughs> so upset. Rock Slide comes out here. It's not super effective to the Zapdos anymore, but it should still be able to do a nice chunk, which it does. Can we get a flinch? A little flinch action? Nope. Land in the Thunder all day. Go after. Uh, yep. Cool. All right. So we pretty much win this game with Landers' EQ here. Unless he quick claws again. Which I highly doubt happens, right? I highly doubt happens. And if it does happen, we might just want to get off. I'm kidding, because we're going to win this match regardless. So I'm just going to EQ here. And I don't know what to do. I just e I have to EQ. EQ is going to win me the game. I'll just kill my Golden Go. I don't really care too much. I'll just kill my Golden Go. So he ends up detecting. So I'm going to kill my Golden Go. And I'm going to kill a Slim, bro. That's fine. Zapdos doesn't stand a chance. I got Tailwind for a couple turns. I can just keep EQing. It's night-night. So, yeah, I just KO'd my Golden Go. It's no problem. <laughs> it's no problem. The only time it would have been a problem is if uh, they would have double protect. Then I would have been like, hey, that's a good play. But still, we get rid of the slow, bro. It turns into a 2v1. My Urshifu can take this thing one-on-one -on -one anyway. So, from here, I'm just going to go into my boy. And do I stop and catch him? No, I don't think I stop and catch him. I just think I just keep throwing EQs. Actually, stop and catch him with KO. Let's just go for stop and catch him here. And who's faster? That's the real question. Urshifu's going to be faster. You know what? Urshifu's going to pick up the final KO. He did nothing so far, so I'm just going to wicked blow into him. But that's going to be the game. You end up detecting. I hit through that, so. That would have been a good play if I wasn't EQing again, but wicked blow is just going to fly right through it. Get rid of the Zapdos with the guaranteed crit. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Showcasing Landorus. This Pokemon is going to be the real deal when Regulation D fully comes out.
There it is, ladies and gentlemen, Life Orb Landorus shredding the casual ladder. Played up against two Regulation D teams and just absolutely dominated with him. Lead him with Tornadus, pop the Tailwind, get some sort of speed control, and then have Landorus go off from there. EQ was doing some big time damage. Terra Rock with Rock Slide was doing some big time damage. And then on top of that, you have Intimidate, which is, again, is one of the best abilities in the game. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.